Ladies and gentlemen, a second pre-release is out for Minecraft Java Edition 1.17.1. This one is mostly a bug fix update, but also adds new logging for named mobs and changes some languages. My name is Sliced Lime, I'm here to guide you through all the changes in this version. Let's start with world generation. There's been a little bit of a stir around some of these changes. There's a bug in Minecraft 1.17 where emerald ore generates far too often that has been fixed in this version. In 1.17 you would get a random number between 6 and 24 emerald ore per chunk. This has been reduced back down to the levels from 1.16 with 3 to 8 emerald ore generating per chunk. Diamond ore has also been changed. There's been quite a lot of misinformation floating about, but contrary to popular belief, there really wasn't much of a difference between 1.17 and 1.16. There was, however, an error of one block that meant the diamond ore would stretch slightly higher up than it used to. That bug is fixed in this version. Let's talk about a bug fix for gameplay. When you attempted to walk through flowing water, then you would constantly get switched in and out of swimming mode. That is fixed in this version. And the number of changes to mobs. Any named mob that dies will now be logged. You can find this in the log file and in the server console if you're running a dedicated server. This is to help you debug if one of your loved named mobs suddenly has vanished. So fixes for mobs spawning out of buckets too. The wandering trader would sell a tropical fish bucket that would only contain white cob, that is fixed in this version. This also fixes a bug where if you took a tropical fish bucket out of the creative inventory, you would also only get one type of fish. However, despite the bug being closed, the same is not true for axe bottles. They still only spawn pink. And a final mob fix in that if you killed a villager that was holding an item for display, for trading, then you could actually steal the item. The item would drop as loot, that is fixed in this version. A sound fix in this version, calcite was too quiet compared to other blocks, that is now fixed. And a few language related user interface changes. Three languages that were quite incomplete have been removed in this version. They are Sicilian, Manx and East Algovian German. There's also an added language in this version, it is Classical Chinese. As for technical changes, there's only one of them in this version, so we'll run that change right here instead of making a separate video. If you use the clear command that didn't clear certain stacks if you had dropped items from those stacks previously. And those are all the changes for this version. If you want to try it out, keep in mind that, that pre-releases are testing versions and can be less stable than full versions. So if you try it, do so on a separate test world, or make sure to maintain backups of your world. Keep in mind that any world that you open in this version can never be safely downgraded to a previous version again. If you want to try this version but you don't know how to, then click on the link in the iCard on the video right now or in the video description to take you to a tutorial video about how to get and play a Minecraft snapshot. But that's it for today, thank you so much for watching to the end of the video, and if you found it useful then please help me out in return. Any interaction with the video, such as leaving a like, or dropping a comment, or sharing the video, will help it out in the grand YouTube algorithm lottery, so I do appreciate that. Thank you also to the folks who helped out in the making of this video, thank you Jock Cool, Violin, and Fabian for the assistance. But that's it for today, thank you so much for watching, my name is Sliced Lime, and I'll see you next time.